a hostile UAV. Ladies above. and gentlemen, this is this Snake. Hey, what's up guys? This is Frosty Nacho again with another Call of Duty Ghost video. Today, I will be playing Call of Duty Extinction. Extinction is another game mode that you're able to play outside of multiplayer. You can play it online with four people total. And the basics of it, if anybody has ever played zombie mode, either in World of War or any of the Black Ops game, this is pretty much like that where you have to survive waves of aliens in this case and why as this drill which I just picked up as it destroys the hives now along the way you'll get challenges to come up this one that just popped up is the only use melee damage so the objective uh, for us is just to use knives what will happen is toward the end of every every quote unquote round you will gain a skill point. These skill points can be used to upgrade your player. When you at first initially start the game, you're given a certain amount of classes. You can pick four classes. You can either be a tank, weapon specialist, engineer, or medic. Each class has its own thing to do. So as you can see, I just put two, two skill points in my class and I will able to just upgrade my player so that way we can beat the game and we because towards the end the rounds will get a lot harder the enemies will become numerous and you will need help now along the way you'll find guns laying around that you're able to buy so with every kill you gain a certain amount of points every round you're given a certain amount of money and use that money to buy whatever gun you wish that you find or whether you find some money I mean I'm sorry whether you want to use one of your abilities using the directional path so on the bottom right hand corner you see ammo two uh, sentry gun a grenade turn and what is called feral instincts those are my abilities and I'm playing with Mr. Blonde he is playing as a medic so he'll have some abilities along with some other different ones where he'll be able to drop down on it or where he'll be able to do anything else within his class which will help me because this is about a team thing. Now normally when we first played this it was four people and we couldn't even get past what would be round eight out of 14. But after playing so many maps, after playing it so many times, you can get the gist of it, know exactly what to do, what's coming up, which will hurt, which will help you a lot better. So, with now, what we're doing is basically defending the drill. That's what you do throughout pretty much the whole way through. And along along the ways, along with the guns, you'll find different items that you're able to pick up. You'll have to. It'll be little trash bags or little ammo box ammo boxes that are scattered around the map these will hold random items such as a red dot rapid fire attachment they'll hold different items a trophy system for when scorpions will come through or you'll get a flare where you can actually where if you drop it they'll be all the aliens will be attracted to that flare. so you'll get different things like that along the way and what will happen is when you get towards the end, your main objective is to arm a nuke that will eventually end the game. And that final push will, is very hard. Okay. Now, that's pretty much all I have for this. I mean, everything else is pretty much self-explanatory. Every every round, you want to try and complete that complete the challenge. So that way, you can get skill points skill skill points to upgrade your your abilities so you'll see me use them throughout a lot of the matches and we'll just keep going on through there and of course if you guys are going to play this it's best to play with people who really do the challenges because if you don't get those challenges done early game they can wind up the game can be a lot harder 
than what it already is and this has its own leveling system so you don't have to worry about affecting your multiplayer your multiplayer uh, character but at the same time there are pres prestiges as well on this one this one after you've reached level 30 you'll be able to prestige and what you'll get are relics which will pretty much make the game harder than what it already is you'll either make yourself do less damage to the aliens or the aliens will do more damage or you will have to go through the whole game pistols only it's different stuff like that and there's a total of five of them so right now we're not really using any we're just going through the motions we really wasn't expecting to beat the whole game but we wound up beating it out of sheer coincidence so I hope you guys enjoy this um, that's the best weapons you'll see at toward the end you'll be able to see how quickly we are able to take down because we've been able to put money into what we really need and because we haven't hindered our we haven't hindered ourselves by not doing challenges so we're able to upgrade them. so anyways i hope you guys really enjoy this i'm going to speed this up just uh, just enough to where you won't be sitting here for an hour this game took an hour to complete because of all the because of having to deal with all this you see you see them they're going for the drill they'll do that throughout the whole game and it won't get harder so i'm going to speed this up i hope you guys enjoy it i mean i enjoyed this game a lot this is reminds me a lot for left 4 dead so left 4 dead i remember my roommate always having to get to safe rooms having to have different classes everything i like that and i like this actually more than the zombie mode that came on black ops or any other games because this has an objective to do so if you guys are looking for just something else looking for something you know that you really don't have to stress about i mean this is fun when you get playing with when you're playing with a bunch of different people who have different class setups this game could be easy and it could be fun so i hope you guys enjoy this and i will be spooking more videos up in the future i believe the next one i'll be doing in a couple days so peace and i'm out of here